Okay. So this isn't an episode of the Polishing Podcast. Um, this is kind of just like an update, and I'm putting it on the podcast RSS feed, and then I'm going to post it to like my Twitter and stuff just so it auto-publishes. But yeah, this isn't an actual episode. Um, it didn't... Uh, I don't know. We, it's weird to say that we went on hiatus or anything. An episode should have came out around by the time of my birthday. It's been about a month since then. More than a month. It's like the 13th or something at this point. No, it's not. The 13th, the day Borderlands comes out. And that ain't out yet. It's the 7th. It's been a month. Um, so we're about two podcast episodes missed. And I wanted to say something, um, just so people know what's going on because i've been kind of radio silent since the end of august actually like august like fucking what was the last thing i posted on here uh the fucking dna test tweet which was the 28th so it hasn't been that long since i posted on twitter honestly but even before i posted that i have been feeling uh um down uh i've i i've talked a lot about mental health and ta- getting help and stuff like that on the podcast and i haven't done as well for myself in that regard i have been feeling really not great recently uh um it was around like not even that long after my birthday where I started to feel just, I don't, I can't say depressed because I, I mean, I'm, I'm planning to go to the doctor because I think I'm depressed. I've never actually, you know, talked to a doctor about any depression that I suffer from. I know I have anxiety. I inherited it from my mother um, because we have the same exact anxiety. Uh, basically um and at one point my anxiety got so bad i was like literally like my hands were twitching and i developed a um i just i started sleeping on my hands like i put i would put them underneath my chest or under my pillow so i couldn't tell that they were twitching uh because my anxiety was literally that bad and this was back when I was like 21, 22 or something like that. It was like five years ago at this point. And I'm glad I'm glad my anxiety's never gotten to that point. But I've never really gone to the doctor for either anxiety or depression or anything. I don't have a therapist. And I'm planning, with Ali's help, to do all that stuff. Because I've, I've gotten really low the last um, couple of... Last week. Uh, I got some bad news, too. So that didn't help. Um, nothing like personal life or anything. It's not, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, it's not even that big. It, like it's a big deal. I, I, I shouldn't cheapen the shit that happens to me with qualifiers and all that stuff. Uh, in the, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not the worst thing ever or anything like that. Uh, I just am no longer going to be, uh, Trent's, or if you only know him as Pixelate Apollo's full-time editor. He told me that at the beginning of September right as I was starting to feel kind of better and that didn't help at all uh because I mean obviously it's like I'm not it's weird because it's like I'm not being fired Uh, he's still gonna send me stuff and he'll pay me on a per video basis but I I, if he, he can't guarantee that he's going to be able to provide for me so I can um do it full time and not have a job and stuff. So I have to look for a job and that's okay. And that it just, it didn't help at all. I'm not blaming him. Cause like, if that's his situation, then that's fine. It just, I thought I was coming up and it knocked me way down. And that's why I've kind of been radio silent everywhere. There was a tweet I put out in the middle of the night saying, I don't know what to do. 
that was right as I had gotten that info and I was kind of freaking out in the middle of the night because I couldn't sleep because I've been having trouble sleeping, which is definitely not helping at all with my moods because sleep is, you know, really important. Uh, who would have guessed? But, um, yeah, so that's I deleted that tweet. So, Caleb, if you hear this, uh, that's why I haven't responded to that tweet and it's just gone i deleted it when i woke up the next morning uh i just, i didn't know what to do about looking for a job and stuff because i was really overwhelmed uh, i got my resume in order i'm applying for stuff it just really sucks um because i don't i've never felt this way and i, I need to get help and i'm going to try to do that with that ali is going to help me look for a therapist I have the insurance to do it, so I should take advantage of that. We're going to try to make a doctor's appointment <laughs> to talk about, like, to talk to a psychiatrist, like being recommended one, to talk about medication and see if it actually helped me. Uh, because you shouldn't count out medication if you really feel badly. Like, people, I've always talked about how medication is not a bad thing. Allie's medicated for her and um, depression, and it helps her immensely so i'm you know gonna look into that but yeah that's why i mean i haven't said anything on twitter and stuff i didn't know i was gonna tweet this but then i i didn't i didn't know how to tweet it and i wanted to make sure anybody who followed the podcast and stuff knew this is not episode 50 this isn't going to be much longer it's just kind of an update on me i don't know if the poshy podcast is really going to be a thing um, I've texted Trent about it and he must not have seen the text or something, but I was like, are we going to do it anymore? Cause if he's not on it, I might change the name to something else because the, the name is literally an inside joke between the both of us. And if I were to continue it and without him and I was the only host, then I would change the name, but I have no idea. I haven't talked to him really cause I mean, I haven't really talked to anybody except Allie. So, I mean, it's not a him thing. But, yeah, that's just kind of an update on me. Uh, I'm doing a little better today. Yesterday was really bad. But, you know, you you do what you can. Um, you don't have to worry about anything in the sense that I might harm myself or others. I am not of that mind. I don't have suicidal thoughts. Uh, I'm a millennial, so like, whatever, kill me. But I don't want to kill myself. <laughs> I don't care if I die. There's a difference. Uh, but yeah, so that's just, you know, where I'm at. Uh, I guess for on a more lighthearted note, I played recently Control and Remnant from the Ashes. Remnant was cool for like the 18 or something hours I played it. Almost 20, which for like, what is that, 40 bucks? Yeah, 19 hours for 40 bucks. Like, yeah, that's not bad amount of time in a game. And it was, yeah, 39.99. It was fun too. Like, I enjoyed it. I just kind of got bored after I got, like, I was trying to get a particular weapon. I got it. And then I'm like, all right, well, now what? So, you know, well, that's fine. And then recently I played Control with RTX on, and I could probably do an entire podcast about how ray tracing is actually amazing because i know i shit talked it when i first heard about it even though i have a rtx 2080 uh it's that game i really like the gunplay i like the game a shit ton it's probably one of my favorite single player games of 2019 for sure uh but just the ray tracing and rtx stuff in general is fucking nuts like i could go on and on and on about that uh short summary like if i were to give it a review i'd probably give it a 9 out of 10 honestly i enjoyed the game so so much i liked reading all the little lore tidbits and the collectibles and the folders and the auto audio recordings and like all of all the cases and everything um so yeah i like that game a lot i like the powers uh and i know people there are some people who are like oh you know you get very like standard powers like you know, telekinesis where you could pick shit up and throw it and a dash and like uh, pick shit up to shield yourself. And I'm like, yeah, you kind of understand where some people could be kind of disappointed instead of like some really outlandish weird stuff. But I don't know. I feel like I haven't played a game where I could pick shit up and throw it at somebody or pick up a dead body 
I, like I could literally pick up a dead body and throw it at someone else to kill them. And I haven't been able to do that since like my PlayStation two or something. Like I haven't played a game with those kinds of things in them in so long that it was awesome to do it again. But yeah, uh, uh, it was really good. The ray tracing stuff is amazing. I literally had an experience where I thought there was another room on the opposite side of a glass panel because of the reflections of the computer in the room I was in. And I had a moment of, holy shit, I get it now. Um, so, yeah, that was wild. And I think ray tracing RTX stuff is one of those things where you'd have to, like, see it. Like, watching a video of it isn't the same as playing a game and being like, what? And, like, seeing it. Because I actually, like, I legitimately had a moment of, what the fuck? Like, seeing my reflection in the glass, seeing it move, turning RTX off, and then just seeing how, without any of that on, it's just a piece of glass that you can see through. Like, it, it legitimately made me go, what? Like, it's one, it's like, I haven't done something like that since, like, Gears of War screenshots before the game came out on xbox 360 and i was like whoa look at all the detail in that guy's face that guy's ears almost all the way round and stuff like that like it, it's been a really long time since graphics wowed me and that really did something nitpick the animations for facial animations and when you're talking to people up close and stuff it seemed like they were on like 1.5 times or something just people seem to express too much for what they were saying it that was a little off-putting uh, you wanted into one character whose face doesn't even look like a real person's face, which is weird because it seems like every other person that you see clearly their face is probably the actor who was their like mocap and voice that like, it's their face. But and then this guy comes around and you're like, um, but maybe that guy's head is really big and blocky. I don't know. It was weird. But that's the only real critiques I have of the game off the top of my head. But yeah, um, that's about it. Uh, I'm, you know, doing okay today. I'm, I'm better. It's, it, if I was going to be succinct and honest and open about it, yesterday it felt like I was in a hole so deep I couldn't see the... I couldn't see out of like I didn't know where the exit was in it like I couldn't see there was no light I was so down in it and today doesn't feel like a hole at all and depression isn't a straightforward thing like maybe tomorrow I'll feel worse maybe tomorrow I'll feel the same as today it's not you can't predict how you're going to be affected by it um, but today I'm okay and I am going to take that as I can because there's no other there's nothing else I can do with that um and but I'm gonna try to get help which is you know I'm in the situation and I'm privileged enough to have insurance and stuff that I can do that so I'm going to if you're in a situation where your mental health is not great but you don't think you can actually afford and ins not insurance but I mean yeah also you can't afford afford insurance but you can't afford to go to the doctor or a therapist or anything I'm sorry that's really terrible I'm, the best thing you can do is talk to anybody who's willing and able to like listen because that's better than nothing just talking to Allie about everything yesterday helped a ton and knowing that she wasn't going to judge me for it and I was just able to say everything and how I was feeling <sighs> but yeah um, that's me that's a little update thing that I hope most people see because I haven't really said anything in the past couple of weeks and what I have said is basically like the first joke that's come to my head which you know is fine but also <sighs> that's it <laughs> i haven't really thought about anything else but yeah uh thanks for listening to this if you did if you gave it a listen um i'm gonna try to figure out what's going on with the podcast uh it's just been hard to do it in general when you can't think of anything fun um when I mean, you can't really think of stuff that is like other than it's just the worst shit possible. So that's another reason why I haven't tried to do the podcast even by myself or with Allie or anything. It's hard to do that when all I can think of is like the worst possible things happening in the world and with myself. So yeah, but hopefully I'll be able to come back and 
do the podcast regularly again and stuff because I genuinely enjoy it and it's something I like and I don't know I I would hate to see this thing that I've worked not I mean I, I've worked hard on it I'm not gonna sit here and belittle it I've worked hard on it and I put a lot of time into it and I would hate to see it just fade away because of you know <sighs> mental problems but yeah that's going to be it for me. I hope you have a good weekend if you're listening to this right as I post it. And um, I'm going to go and, you know, live life. We have, we're we going to go hang out with friends and go to uh, the Permanis nearby, Permani Bros. It's a pencil. I don't know if it's a Pennsylvania thing or a Northeastern thing. But they have cheap wings, and I, I love me some chicken wings. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, God bless. Stay clean, stay polished, even though this isn't an actual episode. But yeah, see you later.